Okay, this is a day trade recap. Today is July 23rd, and the only stock that I worked with today was XBIO, XBIO. And um, let me show you a few of the lines that I put on my chart based on the daily. Um, this is a stock that I'm well aware of that I've traded before. As you can see, a few days ago, it had made this really good run from the, you know, the $2 range all the way up to like 322. So that was a pretty nice little run that day and it, ha it has been running a little bit here and there um, and if you zoom out you can kind of see there's some it had been trading kind of in a range from this high that it made 585 way back um, in December and it just kind of got caught in this general range and so based on the recent levels I, I drew this <clears throat> this blue dashed line right here and that's basically based on where it had flattened out here back here okay and so I like to look for stuff like that because that'll be a breakout level um, and then I also drew um, there was a high wick right here see this high wick right here the highest lonely wick I put one there and then I put another line um, right here at the top of this VWAP so these were different levels then I had my targets in here but those were levels that I was going to really pay close attention to and you, as you see um, when I saw it right it had it had pushed through this blue dashed horizontal line that's my 50 on that daily where it flattened out and I knew that hey if it can find support there it's going to break out right and it'll break out it'll push through this line it'll head at least for the next um, target line green target line and that was pretty close to this other wick you know that this little dash line was that lonely wick on the daily so I had a couple of reasonable targets here that I knew I was going to shoot for and sure enough my entry was right here where it found support on this blue line the blue dash line was this candle so I put an arrow there to mark that getting in at around two dollars and sixty cents I knew that my target was going to be somewhere in the range of you know 375 or so and that's exactly what I did I got out right on that candle and then it came down and it tested that line again and it, it just sat there for a while right it sat there and then it came down it it needed to build it built resistance right there and it needed to build some energy to be able to push through that to the next line which the next line was going to correspond with this um, purple dash line which was that VWAP angle down right on the daily which was very close to another target line and so I was looking for an entry and then to push up to this purple uh, dash line and as you see my candles totally um, found that level and they said this is really good resistance here I mean it spent a lot of time there then it came down and it tried to push through again but it couldn't do it people were selling hard on that and then from that point on it just sold down but I had a couple of really good opportunities so I had the one that was about a dollar a little more than a dollar a dollar twenty and then I had the other that was right around a dollar um, so a couple of dollars and then this little opportunity was a tricky one um, but it was you know like 40 or 50 cents there so uh, 250 two dollars and fifty cents per share um, on this this stock it by just focusing on it only and again it had no news but it was a technical breakout it was it found this 50 level on the daily this 50 EMA found support there and once it did that everybody saw it plus this thing has some short interest that's <laughs> That's why I knew it was probably going to run. There's people that are, um, you know, pushing it in um, some of the Reddit groups. Um, so even though it had no news, I knew that this thing had energy. It was a low flow and some short interest, and it found support on a, an important level on the daily chart. And so I knew it was going to run to these a couple of potential target ranges, and it's just a matter of just getting in. Now, this was actually a late entry back here where I did get in. Um, kind of, but I was look. I waited for that because of this 50, right? I didn't get in back here on this cross. You've got to have reasons why you're getting in. You've got to understand why is this stock moving right here? Why? What did it find right there that was significant? Why it angled and then took off right there? Well, it was that crazy um, 50 EMA support level, right? Um, where it had flattened out um, on for quite a while at a specific level. Once it found support there, it was going to go to the next, which was the lonely wick on the daily chart. And once it got, you know, it, had, it built resistance at the lonely wick, came back down, gave us a buy signal above, you know, the VWAP and everything. Um, this was kind of a later signal, but you could have got in anywhere where the candles are above this light blue smooth line. 
see, this was a really good entry. And even if you got in late, like at $3.84, you know your target is, you know, $4.75 um, or whatever. And my line was actually at, I had the line at $4.61 and then $4.69. So getting out on those and then, um, you know, seeing if it will give us another opportunity. Every time it tried to hit that level, it just would be slammed down hard. So that was clear resistance. But the entry is going to be when your candles get above this um, light blue um, smooth line. Um, sometimes when you see your, your 9 EMA, which is this blue dashed line, when you see that blue dashed line cross over your light blue, sometimes you'll get an early signal there. Um, it doesn't always, but you know, one of these, either this, which can be a little late, or this arrow will fire off. You'll notice, you'll hear a sound, the way I have it um, programmed, I have a, I've hard-coded a ring alert sound when price gets above this smooth blue. That's, that's the primary signal. You can confirm it with your 9 EMA or your shaft down here. Um, any of those, these are going to be confirmations. Your first alert will be this blue arrow, but actually you'll hear it before you see it, okay? Um, so above you up and, you know, all your lines pointing up, that's what you're really looking for. And then just understand, well, why, why are these targets going to work, right? Well, this was because of the previous levels on the daily. But anyway, so all in all, you know, trading like seven, six and 7,000 shares um, and each move was like a dollar or a little more than a dollar. All in all, $2.50 on, you know, six and $7,000 shares. That's, that's a really good day. So it pays to focus on one, know why it's going, where it's going, understand your entry, why it's a good entry, and know your targets, and then just stick with it and see if it's going to make it to the next. If it gives you a good buy signal above the view up, then yeah, go to your next target. You have to take these signals. If they um, you know, make sense, they have to make sense. Don't be um, hesitant, okay? And take advantage, and you'll do really, really well at this, okay? All right, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, if you need any help getting these nice target lines on your charts and understanding how to read charts and figuring out where, where you're going to draw lines, not every chart's going to look the same. Not every day, not every stock is going to look the same. There's different types of setups, but this happens to be a really good breakout setup, okay? All right, uh, that's all I have for you in this video. If you have any questions, let me know, and we will talk soon.